Speaking to categories, we're going to move on to the next one being Best UK Artist. A lot of familiar names we've been talking about a lot. We have Architects, Bring Me the Horizon, Don Broco, and Shikari, While She Sleeps, Sleep Token, and Nova Twin. So again, a lot of names we've kind of been breaking down within the other categories, saying why we love them so much. But Corey, if you would like to begin this one, uh, just let us know who would you love to see win this category? Well, this category, I mean, like a lot of the other ones seems it's like kind of unfairly weighted towards bring me the horizon. I honestly think they're going to be the ones to take it. But as for who I hope to win, I really love that Architects album. I love Sleep Token. I think all of these artists did a really, really good job with everything that they've put out uh, with their image, with their videos, with everything that they've done. And I... For my personal favorite, what I would like to see win is the Sleep Token album. But, and I mean, we've talked about home court advantage. These all have that home court advantage now, <laughs> but I do still think based off of their, their profile, especially with the collab that they've, they've recently done and just how big that band is, it's probably going to go to Bring Me. Okay. Stay puffed. Your thoughts? Yeah, I think uh, I think Corey's pretty close on that one uh, as far as, you know, uh, what Bring Me has done. Uh, I'll probably throw my hat in for that, uh, that Architects record, again, or that Ar Ar Architects on here. Good Lord. Um, again, not my, like, I'm not the target audience for that, uh, but seeing the success that uh, that album brought them, um, how uh, I know it did sort of uh, kind of divide some of their fan base a little bit, but you can't argue with results. Uh, and they just recently came out with um, that, like, re-recording orchestration part uh, of this album that they did uh, at Abbey Road that I've heard people talk about as far as, like, wait a second, like, I wasn't so big on the Architects album, but when when you put an orchestra with it it sounds fucking amazing um and just given what they've been doing um over the past several years and how you can listen to a lot of metalcore or a lot of uk bands or just a lot of metal and be like that band really likes fucking architects don't they <laughs> like i think that yeah. Do, given that and where they are in the heavy music sphere right now, um, I think Bring Me is going to win a lot this yeah. uh, in this heavy music awards. Uh, I think Architects might, they have the resume to pull the quote unquote upset, if you will, in this category. So I'm going to call it for Architects on this one, just to be a little bit different. Okay, Downey. Yeah, I mean, it is a lot of bands who are in the other categories. So, you know, maybe if, if some of these artists lose one category and could win another, you know, they have a lot of different chances. Uh, I, Architects is a band that I think has been, they're more of a slow burn in terms of their popularity. And I, I think they really have kind of bubbled over on this more recent album cycle. Uh, I, I gotta say, I think Bring Me is going to win and in yeah. this category in particular should win because okay. they i mean this has been their moment for the last couple of years and as a heavy band from the uk uh you know if, if they if they aren't going to win best uk band at the heavy music awards in 2022 i don't think that they ever would after this year you know what i mean it's <laughs> like if not now when so yeah i think it i think it belongs to them yeah, I agree. I think that they sh should win. I think they probably will win if I had to pick my personal favorite. I've, you know, I've given them the W a couple times here, but I, I would give it to Don Broco. They decided to just wild out on this album and give zero Fs the whole time. I feel like it's kind of like the Turnstile record in that sense, where they decided to take tons of different genres and nuances, put everything out the door in terms of weirdness. I mean, one moment, it's a super radio forward pop hook where he's completely falsetto. That just goes right into a hugely intense breakdown. Like, it makes no sense. Uh, one of <laughs> the tracks as you know uber literally starts off with been a long night gonna call uber like it's ridiculous and they don't care and i have to give them props for that so i've spun that a lot like i said i can dance to it i love that vibe so for me i would love to see them take it do i think they will unfortunately no but i'm really not mad with bring me you know winning that category so we will see what what goes down the night of the awards